Hey, it's Mike from GoCellPhoneRepair.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about pentalobe screwdrivers. These things, also known as pentalobular screwdrivers, uh, among a number of other names, uh, 0.8 millimeter pentalobe, P1, TS1, IPR1, they've got all kinds of goofy names, and that is probably thanks to the fact that they're relatively new. Apple was the first company to use them, and to my knowledge, they're the only ones that are still using this product. So you're going to need this if you're working on any sort of iPhone. Uh, there were some iPhone 4s in the very beginning that used a Phillips driver, but they have since switched over to the Pentalobe. So there are quite a few choices out there, and the guys at eTech Parts sent me a sample of one of theirs, and I also got another sample from iFixit, so I wanted to kind of compare these and show you what they look like, how they work, and what my thoughts are on all of the above. They have this cheapy one here, and I call it that because it's just very basic, plastic, not much to it. And in fact, a lot of times you'll get these for free when you purchase a part. Sometimes you get an iPhone screen or a back door, and they'll send this along with some other uh, little plastic tools. Now, these will work. They will remove the screws from the bottom of the iPhone. I actually use these still during training because it gives the students a good idea about how much torque is necessary to apply to these screws so that you don't over tighten them when you're removing them from the phone. So uh, they do serve a purpose, but I wouldn't expect these to last very long. Over time, they do wear down. The tips get kind of bent out of shape. So these are really designed for one-time use or maybe a couple of uses here and there. And then eventually you move on to something else that's gonna be a little more reliable. Now you notice I put a little piece of tape here on the driver, and that is because if you've got a similar driver of Phillips or a flathead, they're very easy to mix up, and just having this little marker here, it's nice to be able to reach into your toolbox and you can tell immediately what you're working with. So again, this is just a temporary one. They're probably about a buck, maybe less, and sometimes you even get them free in the mail. They will get the job done. One thing about this small driver is that if you're going to be working on a bench for long periods of time, one thing that uh, basically causes a lot of fatigue for technicians is having to pinch something that has a very small handle like this. And it may not sound like much initially, but over time, if you do this for hours a day, for months at a time or years at a time, eventually you'll start having all sorts of problems with your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder, and all the way into your back. So it's not recommended that you use such a small tool. Uh, better to upgrade to something larger at your earliest opportunity. The next driver I'm gonna take a look at is the Casey. This one actually comes in a complete kit. If you haven't already seen it, I've already done a review video on the Casey repair kit. It's pretty nice, and actually for the price, you get quite a bit. You get some other tools, you get several drivers, and you get something of a much higher quality than this little throwaway one. It's got a rotating tip here, some bubbles right in this area so that you can grip, and these will work just fine. It's kind of like a rubberized plastic, I guess you would call it. But again, the main value here is that you not only get the driver, you get some other tools with it, and these work out very well. I've been using this for a while, no problems, fairly durable, and I'm sure that it would last you quite a while. I'm not sure how long these will be available because they're kind of phasing out that kit for the iPhone 4 as they won't be around very, very much longer. So um, just another option there. The next one that I'm gonna take a look at, this is called the best, and I call it the best green driver, and guys, Putting best on your product doesn't necessarily make it the best, but that's the name that they've chosen for this one. Uh, you'll see me using these in a lot of my iPhone repair videos, this one in the gold driver. These work very well. Also, however, it's got a metal housing instead of the plastic like the Casey does, rotating tip, and I'm not sure exactly what these are constructed out of, but again, they do last for quite a while. Over time, I've had some of the tips wear down, and I suspect that's because we have some technicians who figured out that you can actually use the tip in order to eject the SIM card from an iPhone. The problem is, over time, that will wear down the threads here, uh, or the um, actual end of the pentalobe driver. So you want to avoid doing that. Don't be tempted to use this as an ejector. Get yourself a proper ejector tool or a small paper clip. They'll both work just fine. But overall, not bad for the price. I like the way this one looks, and when you've got something with the bright color sitting on your workbench, it's very easy to know exactly where you're reaching for when you want your pentalobe driver not going to get mixed up with anything else. There's one that's very similar to that, and that's going to be this gold one. I'm going to call it the 658 because that's the only real uh, designation we have on the driver itself. I'm not sure 
who the manufacturer is, honestly. But again, something very similar along the lines of quality with the gold, or excuse me, the green best driver, relatively the same size. And they built in some grip here down at the bottom and at the upper end of the handle, which is one thing that this one lacks. They don't really have anything that grips in case you need to apply any amount of torque. So they do both have the rotating cap at the end which is nice because every once in a while you'll get a stubborn screw and you've got it seated properly but if it doesn't turn you may have to apply some pressure from this end so it makes it easy enough to turn this while you're kind of pushing down here shouldn't have to push very hard but once in a while they do get stuck best also makes a slightly different driver and i want to say that this may be something that they were trying to imitate another one that I'm going to get to here shortly. This is also from Best. It's called the 8800C. And you can see here it's got CV hardened printed onto the handle. So this is chrome vanadium finish. I would expect this to last a very long time. And also, it looks like it might be... No, it's not. My imagination. I thought it was bent there for a second. But we've got some grip right here. Hopefully you can see we've got lines in the handle. So again, that'll make it easier to hold on to. And it looks like it's, I don't know, a little bit too long. Maybe it's just because it's so thin, but uh, definitely much taller than this other driver, almost a full inch. So I guess that's just a matter of preference. I kind of like the idea of being a little bit closer to what I'm working with, but uh, this will get the job done also and probably has a higher tip quality is gonna be my guess because usually when they brag about having CV hardened, you know that you're getting uh, chrome vanadium. So another product from Best that you might wanna check out. I also had one that was sent in. Now this is part of a set that came from iFixit and they have interchangeable bits that you can put onto their driver. So this is convenient. It's got a magnet built into it, so everything it will basically magnetize the bit, and that's always nice because if you don't want to constantly magnetize what you're working on, you just put it in here, and then hopefully everything sticks. I guess if you back it out all the way, you don't have to worry about using losing your screws, and when you pick them up, it makes it easy to seat on the end there, and that's why typically you'll see me magnetize my bit before I put it on the screw, but with this one you don't have to worry about it because we've already got the magnet built into the end of the driver. Also helpful that you can switch these bits out to whatever you're gonna be working with, although some people prefer to have a completely separate driver, that way you're not switching the bits back and forth during your project. The last one I'm gonna get to is the Weha, and this is the one that eTech Parts brought over actually as a sample, they didn't send it, they stopped by the store, and this is supposed to be the Cadillac of Pentalobe drivers. If you're not familiar with Weha, they are a German company that manufactures tools and they are known for making very high quality parts. So I would expect this to be a very nice driver. And what's interesting about it is it came in a not impossible to open package. I thought that's what I had at first, but fortunately it's not. You can open the back of the package up just like that. Whereas uh, if you buy a Blu-ray or something, you often risk cutting yourself with a razor blade or pairs of scissors when you open it. So very easy op to open package. It ships with a little plastic tube on the end in order to protect the tip. And again, chrome vanadium steel uh, made in Germany, and they call this one in one IPR. So like I said, all sorts of different designations. Comes with a small catalog of some other products that they sell. I put this one back in the package. I've actually been using it for the last few weeks. Very impressed, very nice, very comfortable. And again, I would expect this to last a lifetime as, unless you lose it, of course. But other than that, that's what I know about Pentalobe drivers. Hopefully you found the video helpful. And if you're looking for any of these or other stuff, check out the tools and supplies section at GoCellPhoneRepair.com. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and feel free to share it on the social network platform of your choice. Check out some of my recent repair and product review videos and visit us on the web at gocellphonerepair.com. Thanks for watching.